Hello friends subscribe to our channel GDC and press the bell icon for more updates. Hello students welcome to the channel. So today we are going to discuss some questions with their brief explanation. So here we have a first question as in biopharmaceutical classification the class 2 drugs are with and the options are the A low solubility and high permeability, B high solubility and low permeability, option C is low solubility and low permeability, option D is high solubility and high permeability. So the correct answer is according to the biopharmaceutical classification the class 2 drugs are of low solubility and high permeability. So let us discuss in brief. So according to the biopharmaceutical classification there are four classes. The class 1 with high solubility and high permeability and the class 2 with low solubility and high permeability and uh, class 3 is high solubility and low permeability and class 4 is low solubility and low permeability. So the correct answer is uh, the class 2 the low solubility and high permeability. So the next question is which of the anti cancer is having anti inflammatory activity. So the options are option A is methotrexate, option B is cyclophosphamide, option C is tacrolimus, option D is all of the above. So the correct answer is methotrexate. So let us discuss in brief that methotrexate actually methotrexate it inhibits dihydrofolate reductase and it, it, it is also used in cancer. Students try to learn this uh, that it inhibit dihydrofolate reductase and it also used for the treatment of rheumatoid arthritis. Sometimes the question may also occur that what is the use of methotrexate. So the answer is rheumatoid arthritis and the reason of this is because it inhibit proliferation of the proliferation of the lymphocytes and other cells responsible for the inflammation in joints. And what about cyclophosphamide? Actually cyclophosphamide is a nitrogen mustard nitrogen mustard used in cancer and uh, the tacrolimus uh, we know that uh, tacrolimus is a calcineurin inhibitor uh, tacrolimus is a calcineurin inhibitor and it is also used as immunosuppressant the main use of uh, tacrolimus is uh, the it is also used as mean uh, immunosuppressant and the it also used in rheumatoid arthritis so the correct answer is methotrexate Hence, so next question is which of the following does not show resonance effect? Students try to just uh, understand the question that which of the following does not show resonance. Here we are not talking about that which of the following show resonance. So the options are 1, 3 butadiene, acrylonitrile, nitrobenzene, and isopropyl isothiocyanate. So the correct answer is the isopropyl isothiocyanate. It actually it not shows the resonance. So here we are in a brief uh, the explanation part. So let's uh, discuss in the one three butadiene case that that there 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 will be a delocalization of pi electron. Hence we also know that uh, what is resonance actually it uh, resonance it shows the delocalization of pi electron and in case of 1,3-butadiene there is a uh, delocalization of pi electron hence it shows resonance so it is not the answer and uh, what about the case of in, in the case of nitrobenzene it is also showing that del here uh, there is a delocalization of pi electron so it also shows uh, resonance. So it is not uh, it is not the answer. And uh, what about the acrylonitrile? 
that let's see that there will be also be a delocalization of pi electron so it also shows the resonance hence the remaining option is d it not shows resonance because there will not be delocalization of pi electron so we also understand by this definition that resonance effect involves delocalization of pi electrons of two or more conjugated double bonds or non bonding electrons so hence correct answer is d so next moving on next question it match the column match the column actually the volatile oil is given and their main chemical constituents are also given so the options we are having and the correct answer is the b that is of p is having the main constituent lemon grass main constituent is citral and uh, the citronellal oil having major constituent is citronellal as its name indicates so try to memorize uh, with the very calm students and the third uh, is the lemon peel lemon peel is having the limonene as uh, it's also name indicates that lemon limonene and the uh, fourth is palmarosa oil and the correct uh, major constituent of it is it says geraniol so i hope uh, that it is very easy to learn actually sometimes the question may arise is that what is the main constituent of lemon grass oil so the correct answer is citral so next question is number of enzyme involves in glycolysis and the options are option a is 9 option b is 10 or option c is 11 and option d is 12 so the correct option is 10 so let's discuss in a detail that glycolysis pathway occur in the cytoplasm as we all know and the total enzyme uh, involved in this the glycolysis is 10 students try to memorize that there are 10 enzyme involved in the glycolysis pathway so let's uh, discuss in uh, with the help of this cycle that the first enzyme hexokinase which helps to convert glucose into glucose 6 phosphate and the second enzyme second enzyme is is glucose phosphate isomerase which works to convert glucose 6 phosphate into fructose 6 phosphate and third enzyme involved third enzyme is phosphofructokinase it converts fructose 6 phosphate into fructose 16 by phosphate and the fourth enzyme is aldolase and it helps to convert fructose 16 by phosphate into dihydroacetone phosphate and the uh, fifth one enzyme is triose phosphate isomerase which converts dihydroxy acetone phosphate into glycyl aldehyde 3 phosphate and the next enzyme is glycyl aldehyde 3 phosphate dehydrogenase which converts glycyl aldehyde 3 phosphate into 1,3 bis phosphoglycerate and the next enzyme involves is phosphoglycerate kinase which converts 1,3 phosphoglycerate into 3 phosphoglycerate and the next enzyme involves is phosphoglycerate mutase which helps to convert 3 phosphoglycerate into 2 phosphoglycerate and the second last enzyme involves is enolase which converts 2 phosphate 2 phosphoglycerate into phospho in in all pyruvate that is pep and the last enzyme is pyruvate kinase which converts phosphoenol pyruvate into pyruvate so hence there are 10 enzyme involved in glycolysis pathway i hope students that it is very easily understandable so the next question is in quantitative tlc 
radioactive material can be studied by and here we have options are option A visual comparison, option B is densitometer, option C is gravimetry, option D is Giger counter. So the correct answer is Giger counter with the help of Giger counter uh, uh, the TLC radioactive material can be studied. So the next question is that Animal Welfare Board of India constituted under the Prevention of Cruelty any to Animal Act is situated in. So the options are New Delhi, Mumbai, Haryana, Kolkata and the correct answer is C, Haryana. So let us discuss in uh, with explanation that the Animal Welfare Board of India which is AWBI is headquartered at Ballavgarh in Haryana state. The AWBI is located in Haryana state. Actually it is a statutory bo advisory board body which advise the government of India Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. So student it is previously based in Chen at Chennai. Now it is shifted at Haryana state. So try to memorize this and uh, now, now the next question is the capacity of triple zero capsule is and the correct uh, and the options are we are having the option is A 0 0.75 ml, option B is 0 0.50 ml, option C is 1.37 ml, option D is 0 0.20 ml. So the correct answer is 1.37 ml. So let us discuss in detail. Uh, let us uh, the chart is given in which the capsule size is given with their volume height in centimeter or diameter. So what uh, actually asked in the question part that in with the triple zero size how um, what is the volume? So the correct answer is 1.37. If the capsule size is double zero, now uh, next is the volume is 0.95 ml. If uh, the capsule size is zero, the volume is 0.68 ml. Uh, if the capsule size is one, then the volume is 0.50. If the capsule size is two, then the volume is 0.37. If the capsule uh, size is three, then it is actually 0 0.30. Uh, if the capsule size is 4, then it is 0 0.21. If the capsule size is 5, then it is 0 0.13. Actually, sometimes the uh, questions may arise from this also. So, students try to learn with very calm. So, the next question is that which of the carboxylate iron is the most stable here the most st most carboxylate iron is asked that which is the most stable so the options are and the correct options is d so we just understand with the explanation parts so let's discuss in explanation that uh, that stability of carboxylate iron depends on two factor First is electronegativity. Students try to memorize that the stability of carboxylate ion depends on two factors that is of electronegativity of the halogen atom and the number of halogen atoms attached. First is electronegativity, second is number of halogen atoms attached. If more will be the electronegativity of the halogen and more the number of halogen atoms so more will be the dispersal of negative charge. Students try to me memorize this concept because so in various, uh, in just like in Niper exam, the question may arise from this also. So the next question is that which of the following adverse effect is specific to the biagonide diabetic drug metformin therapy? And the we, here we have options are a hypoglycemia 
B GI distress C is lactic acidosis D is lomeno sense the correct answer is lactic acidosis so here we discuss in uh, detail that lactic acidosis is the most dangerous adverse effect of metformin if the question ar arises that uh, what is the most major adverse effect of lactic acidosis is the answer is metformin that there are where will be 50 percent of individual develop the uh, develop lactic acidosis after taking the metformin and the metformin does not induce insulin production because administration does not result in hypoglycemic events some nausea and vomiting and diarrhea may also develop but it is uh, actually not severe the severe is about metformin is lactic acidosis so student try to uh, learn the adverse effect time to time and get revised on time so that it will be more better or helpful for you in exam or to secure a, a good rank thank you